Students are learning online for the rest of this school year and possibly into the fall semester. It can be a stressful time and challenging for teachers to pick up on warning signs that a student may be having trouble at home. That's why some schools and universities are using a virtual program called Cognito. We first told you about it at the Round Rock ISD. They're using it. The man who created the virtual simulations explains to our Sally Hernandez how it is helping during this pandemic. Even before this pandemic, students reported feeling signs of anxiety and depression. But the psychological impact may be greater out of the classroom. When you take students who are experiencing these disorders and put them into a home environment where they have a very little control of what's going on around them and the stresses within the house magnify what they were already dealing with. So they begin to experience uh, these disorders in a more debilitating fashion. Dr. Glenn Albright co-founded Cognito long before schools shut down because of COVID-19. It's to help teachers prepare for difficult conversations with students. It develops these role play simulations that give teachers and students an opportunity to practice having these difficult conversations. So if a student, for example, says, you know, the work is so hard, my home life is really stressful, you know, it doesn't even feel like I should be living. So now that's kind of an indication of suicide thinking. Well, when you get down to K-12, especially in elementary school, uh, there should be emphasis on safety. By the way, in terms of just houses in general, and you know, there's an increase in domestic violence mm -hmm. that's occurring across the nation because of this. So if a child is feeling unsafe or threatened, uh, that has to be addressed, and you certainly can't expect a child to learn or a college student to learn in that type of environment. He says the virtual program helps teachers address those concerns, spot at-risk kids with empathy, builds trust and a connection, even from far away. Sally Hernandez, KXAN News.